your town, your team, your school. Live from Channel 3, this is Friday Night Football. Welcome back to our broadcast studios in Rocky Hill for our serious high school football fans. Week 6 of Friday Night Football right here on Channel 3. Glad you're with us. Glad you're back to see the highlights from tonight's big games. And we're going to start with our game of the week. Cheshire and Xavier at Cheshire. Big crowd at Cheshire. You know, they always represent, but it's Xavier early. The quarterback Drew Cron fakes and dives over the top. 7-0 Xavier lead. Cheshire answers and answers big. Former Athlete of the Week, Christian Russo, down the near sideline. It's a 70-yard touchdown, and it ties the game. You think that one was good? Watch this run by Russo. Count the missed tackles. Three there. There's four. There's five. And he's down the sideline again. This one's 62 yards. Cheshire leads 14-7. That's the score at the half and the score after three quarters. Fourth quarter, though, Xavier ties the game. Kron to Max Matusik. Xavier with eight minutes left, the game's tied. And then they take the lead three minutes later. DJ Wright scores. Xavier leads 21-14, 3.30 left. Kickoff after the touchdown goes to Cheshire's Tristan Washington. He's got some room, and our student broadcaster, Jamie Fasano, has the call. And he's gone! He's That made it 21-20. Cheshire goes for the tie, but the kick just wide. And Xavier wins on the road 21-20. What a game. Let's go to Meriden, a showdown out of the CCC. Platt hosted Hall. That was one of our games running for game of the week. After trading touchdowns, Platt goes in front. Look at this connection. Panthers quarterback Avery Robinson with Kevin Acosta. He's got it in stride. That's a Platt TD. Panthers lead, but... Next possession. All right, that's the theme tonight. Special teams. Senior Matt Farber cuts through the middle, goes outside, back into the middle. He's got a lane with blockers, and he's got a touchdown all the way in the kickoff return. Huge play there from all. And they get closer on the road. Platt goes to the air again. The same two guys. Robinson rolls out, hits Acosta. Nice gainer down the sideline before being taken down. And it leads to another touchdown. Platt actually fumbles the ball here, but Robinson is right there to pick it up, takes it in himself. Good game tonight in Meriden. Hall wins by the smallest of margins. 39-38. There's two one-point games. The Sheehan Marching Band showing off the skills tonight as Sheehan hosted Amity. This is another good one. The Spartans get into the end zone here to tie things up. John Coughlin, the tough run to the corner of the end zone. He's over the pylon. Just got it. That's a touchdown. It's all, all even. Sheehan tries to move the ball downfield here. Nice run for a good gain, but the Titans couldn't put the ball into the end zone. It goes to overtime, and the fans, well, they love the extra football, and they're going to go home happy. Sheehan's Jacob Shook, able to shake off the defenders. He's in the end zone for the touchdown. That's the difference. The Titans' defense held, stopped Amity when it counted. Sheehan wins a thriller at home over Amity in overtime. 15-13, the final. Notre Dame West Haven Fairfield Prep, the Green Knights start strong. Matt Picotta hits Robbie Perez, an eight-yard completion. Two plays later, Picotta takes matters into his own hand. Runs in from seven yards out. That's a touchdown. Fairfield Prep responds. Their defense steps it up, and they team up to stop the two-point conversion. More Prep, this time in the offensive side of the ball. On third down, Ryan O'Connell muscles his way past the goal line. He's got a touchdown. Fairfield Prep hangs on to beat Notre Dame West Haven 28-21. Great atmosphere in this one. West Haven hosting foreign. West Haven unstoppable. I mean, they were just good all around. There's the freshman quarterback, Nick Conlon, hits Amir McComb for a 35-yard TD. The defense also good tonight. Fourth down on the seven-yard line. West Haven makes the crucial stop, preventing the score. That helps solidify the shutout for the defense. West Haven wins big tonight, 53-0, the final. Huge game in the SEC. Shelton welcomed Daniel Hand. Both teams fired up, ready to play. Early highlights. Daniel Hand's on the board first, the senior captain. Ethan O'Brien gets the handoff, fakes everybody out, and he goes all the way to the house. Touchdown for the Tigers. They're on the board. But back come the Gales. 
The senior captain is Tyler Rich, uses his blockers to pick up a nice gain down the sideline. Shelton's in business. And it leads to a short touchdown run right up the middle for the Gales. And if you've ever been there, you know where that cannon is. It's a tight game in this one. Boom. Later on, Shelton gets into the end zone. The quarterback, Michael Kinnick, airs it out, hits Ricky Fiola. Nice catch. That's a touchdown. Good win at home by Shelton. They beat Daniel Hand 33-20. Two of the top teams in the ECC going to head head. Stonington hosted Killingly. Stonington's on the board first. The quarterback, Lucian Tedeschi, he keeps it himself, and the Bears up 7-0. But then it's Killingly, all Killingly. Stonington had no answer for Jack Sharp. He uses his blockers. He goes in untouched for the score. Killingly's up, but Sharp wasn't done yet. Later on in the third, it's Sharp again this time, getting by the defenders, sheds tacklers in for the score. Killingly is pulling away. They pick up a big gain on this end around in the fourth quarter. But after that, they go back to their guy again, and he delivers Jack Sharp, his fifth TD of the game. No, about, no doubt about it, Jack Sharp and Killingly make a statement in the ECC, easily beat the Bears 32-7. Killingly is still unbeaten. All right, out to Milford. Jonathan Law with a matchup at home against East Haven. This one's all Law. Chris Engel takes it right up the middle for a Law touchdown. They're in front at home, and they add to their lead. Law piles on more points with John Nieder, the senior captain, doing it himself. Takes the snap, goes outside. He's gone. Touchdown Law, pulling away. Take a look at this play. Nieder doing it through the air. Connects with Anthony Andreolis, who bobbles it, but yeah, he's able to pull it in. Great catch. The Law fans like that play, and it leads to another score. Nieder again, this time right up through the middle. In for the Law touchdown, Jonathan Law, a win at home. They beat East Haven 42-7. To Brantford, the Hornets hosted Lyman Hall. Brantford making their statement at home. How about a kickoff return? It's the third one we've seen tonight. Nathan Chifo feels it after initially bobbling, knows what to do with it after he gets it, uses his blockers, goes outside, he's gone. Kickoff return for a touchdown increases the Brantford lead. And then later, Brantford does damage on offense. Chifo again, this time up the middle before being taken down along the sideline. Brantford's in business, and it leads to this. Kevin Lee in the end zone, has the catch for the touchdown. Brantford looking good. The student section liked what they saw tonight. Brantford finishes off a shutout at home. They blank Lyman Hall, 34 nothing. All right, those are the highlights from tonight's Friday Night Football Show. Hope you enjoyed the replay. I'm Joe Zone. I'll see you out there.